hi dearest how are you doing so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this purple fascinator remember we had, i told you i made four for the client to pick two and i've shown you two now this is the third one do let me know what you think in the comment section below but before we get into the today's tutorial I would like to say a big thank you to all our subscribers and for those just joining us you are most welcome to the Ventcraft channel. We hope to say thank you in our next video because we are sure you would click that subscribe button and everyone please do ensure you like, comment and share this video. So I started by making loops, six loops of um, with using the two inch um, width crinoline and I have the small ones are 9 inches each and the big one is 10 inch so we have one 10 inch and four 9 inches length of two width inch crinoline so that's what I'm sewing together like you see me do so keep watching and learning Now I would be dropping the links of um, all the items that we used in making this Marco Fascinator in the description of this video. So if you can't get it in your local store, you would have Amazon links, AliExpress links. Also YouTube has given us a choice to be tagging the items on the video. I would also search for that and see how I can tag to make it easy for you to get all the products if you cannot find it in your local store. Once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is sew it to your Alice band like I'm the side person that I am. I put it on the side. But if the client tells me on top, I put it on top. But anyway, this was for my creativity. The client gave me an open check, which I always love. So I did my side thing. Have you attended the Venn Craft Academy? Have you attended Crinoline Masters class? If you haven't, this is a shout out to you. Don't miss the opportunity of becoming a guru in the manipulation of crinoline. Able to identify them when you see them. Able to identify what was used in a particular design. Able to do so much more. Join us today by going to the description of this video. You click on the Ventcraft Academy reception and you make your request to attend the class. See you there. Now when sewing it to the Alice band, remember you're taking part of the material from the Alice band and you are sewing. Now when you're sewing, you hold your fascinate the um, crane line that you have joined together in the position you want and ensure you're sewing it like that and to a certain length to hold it standing so it doesn't bend or sway or anything, it will just take position. Once I was done with that, I took, you know, this um, antennas that you see on those double flowers or three flowers. So I'd used some flowers and the antennas were still left over and it was just perfect. When I just checked it, it's boosted up the design. So I said, okay, no problem. That's what I'm going to do. So I used three of them and I attached them to the crinoline fascinator that I'm making like so. Keep watching and learning. And we have a game that is going on in the Ventcraft Academy where we have numbers from 1 to 20 for crinoline class and numbers 1 to 20 for other classes because of those who have already attended Master's
Then I took some floor purple flowers, small purple flowers that I had available and I started using it to wrap around the down part to cover all the sewings that I've made and also to, you know, boost up the design of this cute, lovely purple fascinator. Then my dash of feathers, just little, just a touch of it. I love simplicity as I've always told you. But probably I should start getting complicated. What do you think? Complicated or simplicity? Which do you prefer? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and gained value from it, do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you need to click the subscribe button. And the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and check out this video of the other purple fascinator <laughs>